If you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about two viral diseases. One is chicken pox, another is smallpox. And we will compare these two because there are many symptoms which are confusing. And that's why we are taking both these uh, diseases together. Chicken pox and smallpox. Both are caused by viruses and there are names given to these diseases also. This is known as varicella and smallpox is known as variola. The causative agent, the virus, here in case of chickenpox, the causative agent is known as varicella virus or also known as herpes zoster virus. And in case of smallpox, the causative agent is known as variola virus. Both these viruses, they are DNA viruses. This is also a DNA virus. That means the genetic material is DNA and this is also DNA virus. So both are viral diseases, uh, both the viruses which are causing the diseases, they are DNA viruses. Now how does this uh, disease or these diseases, they spread? Both are contagious. That means when we come in contact with that infected person, then it directly uh, spreads. And it is also called formid bone. That means if the items used by that infected person are used by somebody else, then also the infection is going to spread. Like uh, the towels or uh, napkins or handkerchief or anything which is used, then that also can spread the disease. Here also it is contagious and it is it also spreads by droplet infection. So here both are contagious but one spreads through a format that is the used articles along with direct contact and the other is through droplet infection. Now let us see the symptoms. In case of a uh, chicken box, there is rash. Uh, the rashes appear, rash appears. And now here, <coughs> the rashes, they appear first on chest, back and face. <coughs> Sorry, whereas in case of smallpox, the rashes are big big red rashes appear first on face upper body and then they spread rest uh, to rest of the body whereas in case of chicken pox the rashes are comparatively smaller but they first appear on chest back and then face Whereas in case of uh, smallpox, the rashes appear on uh, the face, then upper body, that is upper arms and neck region, and then it uh, spreads to the lower part of the body. One more important thing is about the symptoms. In case of chicken pox, there is high fever. So fever and rashes appear simultaneously. That means 
the rashes start to appear and the fever is also there, high fever. Whereas in case of smallpox, it is fever first. So first two, three days, there is going to be high fever. So high fever for three, four days and then the rashes appear. Rashes appear later. So this is one thing. So along with rash, if there is fever, then it is chicken pox. And if the fever, high fever is there and the rashes appear later, then it could be smallpox. But this disease has been eradicated. So we need not worry about it. We will talk about that. We are just comparing the two diseases. Now what happens in case of the rashes? So it is a red colored, pinkish red bumpy area. So it is rash. Then there is a fluid which accumulates in that. So that is called vesicle. So rash changes into vesicle and then it dries and becomes scaly and falls off. So scaly structure is formed and then falls. In case of uh, smallpox, the rash changes into a pus-filled vesicle, a big structure which is pus-filled and it is called pustule. And then it uh, sort of dries up and it is known as scabs and then it falls off. Now, in both the uh, diseases, there is rash formation, there are blister-like structures. But in case of chickenpox, there are no marks which are left after this. So, after recovery, there are no marks. Whereas, in case of smallpox, permanent marks are seen. So these marks, they are in the form of tiny depressions which are there on the skin. Now, how do we treat these diseases? For smallpox, vaccine is available and it is called smallpox vaccine. Now, there are some important things about this vaccine. It is the first vaccine to be discovered first vaccine and it was developed by Edward Jenner and that is why he has been given the title of father of immunology. So these are some important things about smallpox. One more uh, very important thing. The last case of smallpox was reported in 1978. So this was the last case which was reported. That means after 1978, no case of smallpox has been reported. WHO waits for a couple of years to assess whether this disease has been completely eradicated or not. It was a world immunization program which was done and because of that uh, immunization program everywhere everyone got immunized and after 1978 not a single case has been reported of smallpox. And in 1980, WHO declared the world free from smallpox. And this is what we say that this disease has been eradicated. In case of uh, chickenpox, there is immunoglobulin available, which can be given as a treatment, and it is called zoster immunoglobulin. 
globulin. This is given as a treatment. So immunoglobulin means these are the antibodies which are there. So uh, those ready-made antibodies are given in case of chickenpox. So when we are talking about these two diseases, in present times, we have to worry only about this because this has anyways been eradicated. These years are very important. 1978, the last case was reported and this was because of this world immunization program that vaccine which was developed by Edward Jenner was given to everyone and in 1980 world was declared free from smallpox. Now in the next part we will take up two more viral diseases and compare them.